As the Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science, I have not only had the pleasure of witnessing Sam Rich's accomplishments firsthand, but I have also had the privilege of working alongside him. He has inspired and mentored a countless number of students, and his unwavering dedication to UCF serves as an example to us all. I'm very proud to honor Sam Ritchie as a distinguished alumnus this year. Well, I'm obviously very honored. I, I appreciate the recognition. Um, I'm kind of curious as how it happened. You know, how how did I uh, win this award? But I'm not. I'm you know. I, I again, I'm very appreciative of the honor and the recognition. Uh, it makes me feel great. I would like to thank everyone who participated in the, the process of determining all these recipients and, and trying to figure out all these awards. If you do the math and you look at the number of UCF College of Engineering and Computer Science graduates and you look at the number of awards that are given out, I think once a year, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very significant honor uh, to receive this award. Well, when I graduated from high school, I applied to various universities, as most students do. And then FTU had a degree program called Time Shortened Degree. In the 80s, there was a Florida a placement exam, and they, would, they gave me uh, probably 30 or 40 credits for scoring well on this Florida placement exam. Also, Florida Technological University appealed to me because I kind of knew I wanted to be an engineer going to a university that was located near the Kennedy Space Center and had a technology focus uh, appealed to me greatly. The thing I enjoy the most are the students. UCF as a public university has quite a range of uh, students, very diverse population, a lot of first generation students. And what comes with that is motivated students. You know, they, they want to, to excel in college and succeed and be successful. My favorite part is uh, working with the students. Now, obviously we have great staff, we have great faculty. So the whole uh, teaching environment is a really excellent place to spend uh, a career. When I was a senior, I worked at a company called NCR Corporation. Uh, and then I got a call from Dr. Benjamin Potts, Sr. He goes, I mean, personal personal phone call. He, he, he calls me up and says, hey, you got a pretty good GPA. Do you want to go to graduate school? I got a project you can work on. And actually getting a call from Dr. Potts, Sr., by the way, that's Ben Potts, Sr. Um, I go, yep, I'm in. So I uh, uh, applied for graduate school here at uh, UCF at the time. And, um, and there you go. Maximize your GPA. GPA counts, GPA matters. GPA is a cutoff for a lot of employers. So when you're taking that gen ed program, take it seriously, make an A in every class because that will boost your GPA. And then when you get to your engineering coursework and your math and your physics and all that stuff, take it seriously, be a serious student. Uh, the second thing I would recommend to students is make sure you participate in experiential learning. Well, as I mentioned, we are perfectly placed for lots of opportunities. So make sure you have at least one summer internship. And if you can participate in CWEP or do some type of simultaneous education and engineering related work, add that to your resume. And finally, when I talk to uh, hiring officials, they go, what differentiates some resumes is student organizations. So what they do is they read between the lines. Uh, when you participate in a student organization, it shows maturity, it shows leadership, it shows initiative, it shows motivation. So I would encourage those big three uh, items that you check all those boxes during your time here at UCF.